okay so it's like a little bit after five we are actually on our way to go see Curtis Connor and of course I can't take my camera so I'm gonna leave it here I'll vlog whatever I can on my phone not the show or anything like that but yeah we're on our way okay so it's about a week after the last time I vlogged um, we did go to Curtis Connor Savannah loved it I loved it he was so funny he's he has one of those dry sense of humor and I don't know I just thought it was very funny um, but I wasn't able to get anything with my phone because I get it they were strict about recording so you were you can record little clips here and there or take pictures but if they felt you were holding your phone up too long they shine this big old flashlight on you and I'm like oh my god okay whatever so Savannah did take a few pictures and whatever and she got the light shined on her as well so I'm like I'm not even going to take a chance so anyway um she enjoyed her birthday like I said it's about a week since the last time I vlogged um so I did get the results back from my sleep test and I do have sleep apnea surprise surprise yeah, and I know losing weight will help me. I have been going back to the gym. So I am working on that, you guys. Um, yeah, I look back to when I first started vlogging. I had lost 60 pounds. And I'm looking, I'm like, wow, girl, I didn't gain all that back. But I feel like I did. Anyway, so yeah, I have sleep apnea. And I will, I have an appointment on Tuesday morning. It's like a class. So hopefully after that, then I can get my big old, it's not big, but my little astronaut machine that I have to sleep with. Um, I am a t I am tired all the time, you guys. So um, we'll discuss that later when, when I get the machine, um, how I realized I had it or wanted to be checked. <coughs> anyway, the kids are not here tonight. It's Friday, and it's just me. Our new church, you guys, I love it so much. There's so many activities to do for groups of certain ages, and there's like the teens, the young people, and um, the like college age people, which my kids are. So they separate them out in groups, whatever. But anyway, tonight is a young adult conference, and on Wednesday it was combined because we had Bible study on Wednesday and technically yes I could have gone tonight and last night as well they're not gonna tell you you can't go to church they're just not it's just that it's geared towards younger people but I decided to stay home but I did watch it online and I plan on watching it tonight online as well it's been amazing it was so good but anyway the kids are there and it's just me I'm about to get up and I straightened up the house a little bit um, I waited till they left to sweep and mop the whole house. Y'all know how I feel about that. And I'm waiting for it to dry. Then I'm going to go in the kitchen, straighten up a little bit. I have a friend coming over tomorrow. And she's not only a friend, she was actually my pastor's wife. Um, remember the church that I told you guys that my pastor got sick and he had to let the church go? Okay, it's his wife. We've been friends for years and... She's a little bit older than me. She's more of a spiritual mother type of person, but she's also my friend. So I enjoy having her around. The kids love, love, love her. And I've known her since I was like 15. And maybe she was, she was maybe almost 30 at the time. So yeah, she will be over tomorrow. I'm cooking um, for her tomorrow. Just hanging out because I haven't seen her in a while and I'm making gumbo tomorrow. So I am going to prepare all the stuff tonight and then make it tomorrow. It's the first time I've did it this way. Usually when I make the gumbo, I prepare it and make it the same day and it takes forever, but I'm gonna prepare it all tonight. So I'm just going to straighten up the kitchen. Not a whole lot to do. Not a whole lot of dishes. Those are clean, put those away, and then put those in a dishwasher and straighten up the countertops. And Savannah, you guys, she is on this kick to where she eats a waffle every morning. And instead of putting it away every day, I'm just like, just leave it there, whatever, because she has it every day. So ever vlogging and you see this here, just know that, yes, my kitchen is clean. This is just where it is for now. But since I have company coming over tomorrow, we're going to put it away. But remember how I told you guys my, <laughs> I 
my covers for my chairs one like completely disintegrated in the laundry and I still haven't found any yet at Ikea because they have been discontinued however I have found some on Amazon for this exact same chair I just haven't decided on what color I want so that's the reason why these look naked almost <laughs> and then the two covers right there I don't know why I just don't put those on or throw those away but I don't know so let me get to cleaning up this kitchen and then here's some of the stuff that I'm making tomorrow I'm making dessert also um, that is for a no-bake Italian I made it a couple weeks ago for when my other friends came over my friend tomorrow she absolutely loves it so what I'm doing is I'm making her one to take home for her and her family yeah because I don't need it I am on this weight loss journey so yeah so kitchen's not that bad just gonna straighten everything up and do a little bit of dishes okay dishes are done I did not run the dishwasher because there's not a whole lot in there and I took out the pot for the gumbo and I washed it even though it was clean I only use this pot once or twice a year which is for gumbo or for eggnog so yes it does get clean but it sits in my cupboards for six months or however long it may be. So wash that out, just preparing that for tomorrow. And I'm going to use that. So that's the reason why that's there. And you guys remember how I get this every year. This smells so good. I get it at Winco and it's just like pine cone and it just smells like apples and cinnamon. And it just smells really good. So I will just leave that there. And I'm about to prepare things for the gumbo for tomorrow um, and just put it on this plate, um, cover it up and put it in a refrigerator. That way it can be all prepared for tomorrow. And then I know Savannah's going to make a waffle in the morning, so I will leave that there until tomorrow. Then we'll put it away. prepared my chicken <laughs> hold on let me turn the church service down okay I'm just watching the conference live anyway I prepared my chicken and what I mean by prepare my chicken when I make gumbo I take the skin off because it leaves the soup part of it really greasy from the fat on the chicken so it took me a long time before I learned and then I finally an uh, aunt one of my aunts, the one that passed away, my aunt Rose, she was like, um, girl, take the skin off and you won't have that problem. So, yeah, I almost forgot about the sausage. I love it. This is how we get down, y'all.
foods all prepped for tomorrow. I made the dessert. She's taking that. I'm not having any of that because every time we had church like lunches or dinners or something like that and I brought it, it was a hit and everyone loved it. So that's going to be for her and her family. Anyway, I did start the dishwasher because it kind of made a mess in the kitchen, but it's all clean now. And so the church service is pretty much over. They're at the altar praying. So then after that, they have what's called an afterburner where the young people, I keep calling them young people, they're younger than me, but the young adults, they'll hang out and, you know, fellowship and they'll eat or whatever. So yeah, um, they won't be back for a couple of hours. So yeah. I just realized I didn't tell you guys about my friend coming over and didn't say anything else about that. So she came over and we had so much fun and it was so good to have her here this laugh and joke and you know of course talk about God because she's more like a godly mother figure to me because she, she is a little bit older, maybe about 10 or 12 years older. So she has a lot of wisdom when it comes to church stuff and whatever. So that was that. And you know, she had never had gumbo before either. She's from Maryland. I thought everyone from around that area has had gumbo. And maybe it's just a Southern thing. Cause my family, I am from Louisiana, have family in Texas. So maybe it's just a Southern thing because Edna, you told me that you've never tried it either. And yeah. But she loved it and she said she's gonna look for a recipe for it. And I told her, I said, I can show her how to make it, but she would have to be here when I'm making it or I can go to her house and show her. Uh, yeah, I'm glad she enjoyed it. She had two helpings, so that made me feel good. So yeah, that was it for that. So let me get back to work. You're a military man. You must know there's no way around it. The nurse is not her father. Okay, you guys, so yes, it's November 13th today and we are already ready for Christmas. This is the first time that I have ever put up my Christmas tree before Thanksgiving. I don't know, I was just feeling it. So yeah, and right here, I know it looks barren and bare and not all that great, but it's a work in progress because I want to do like a little village or whatever. So when you see this and you're like, what is she doing? Cause it's not done. Remember, you know me, trust the process. So that's the reason why that looks just like nothing's going on. <laughs> so yeah. 